Hello, my name is Derek Jones and today I'm going to show you how to perform a flat migration of your file share to SharePoint eliminating folders. Now in this instance we will be doing away with your folder structure and pushing that information through to your SharePoint columns. Okay, let's get started. Now as you can see, Untulica Fusion comes pre-installed with eight components that can be saved and resaved for future migrations. However, in this instance we will be using component number one. So step number one, click the first component. Click Next. And now it is time for us to select our source files or the documents we would like to migrate to SharePoint. Once you have found the documents you would like to migrate, click OK and then click Next and make sure that SharePoint is selected for your file system. Now under connections, Ontolica Fusion has detected that we have a pre-existing connection, so we are going to go ahead and use My365 connection. However, if we did not have a pre-existing connection, Ontolica Fusion would prompt us to create a new one. Should you need any assistance with creating a new connection, please see tutorial video number two. Then select flatten folder hierarchy and choose the library in which you would like your documents to be transferred. Once you have done so, click Next. Step number three. It is now time to map our metadata. I am going to be taking the department name from level one of our folder structure, as well as our project number from level two of our folder structure. Once you have finished mapping your metadata, go ahead and click Next. Click Run with Preview. These are the documents that we would like to migrate, so click Next. Fusion is now preparing our documents for transfer. As you can see, it will be taking the information from level 1 and 2 of our folder structure and placing it in the department and project number column. Click Run. Fusion is now migrating our documents to our SharePoint environment and should be done momentarily. It is finished, so let's take a look at our SharePoint environment and see the final result. Refresh the page. Ta-da! As you can see, your folders are no longer there and just taken that information and pushed it through to your department and project number columns. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.